Hey there everyone, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Lemmings Redux, and today we are revisiting postcard from Lemmingland. We mailed off a postcard once, and they loved it so much they asked for another one. But this time they don't want the floaters, I guess they think the umbrella is ugly or something. So how are we going to do this with our uh, crew complement that we've got here? Uh, I suppose... Let's see... Are we still going to have to mine and turn around, or are we just going to have to do something funky fancy we can still do it with just the tools that we've got but it looks like we may be we can't bash through the wall or nothing okay how are we gonna get him turned around is it gonna be the timing thing again where we send a climber at just the right time uh no we can probably do this uh a whole nother well how do we get somebody turned around is the thing because i thought with the number of climbers we had we could just go ahead and send one up i'm gonna start with that anyway uh because a climber is most certainly going to be involved i don't you, it doesn't say no climbers or floaters it just says no floaters. So I think a climber is still presumably involved somehow. We can probably uh, work out that much. But the normal solution isn't going to work. So what should it be? Um, let's see if we can work it out. Like how would you turn him around is my is what I am wondering currently. Hmm. I... Oh, boy. I'm having a weird thought. No, that doesn't really work. I was going to say we end up mining through here somehow and, like, using a bridge right here to make something that a basher can go through, but he still just turns around and goes left. Like, this is one... This is one... I don't really feel good, like, like playing by ear and going and doing. Because there's a lot of pausing happening, you see? It's not, it's not very attractive to just think about these things. You just gotta... Yeah, I'm just basically... I'm trying to think about it, but I'm doing it literally more or less exactly the same way. Which isn't going to work. So, what am I even doing? I need to think this one out on my own time, I think. Okay, I have looked at this and looked at this, and I have surmised that there is no way to do this if a climber goes left. Because I have no way to turn him around. Absolutely no way whatsoever. I only have one builder, and that builder needs to get them over this gap. So I have to do something that doesn't turn everybody around. But I still have to get the non-climbers up. So I can't do any turning around at all. So let's try something. Okay, this is this is a series of steps. We can make this into a series of steps, I think. Let me see, okay. So can I get them to where they go up both steps? That's a little too high, but that might be fudgeable. Let's see, let's just have him bash for a second. They go up that, and then they go up that. Okay, that's something. Hold on, just a I'm gonna release rate 99 it real quick. I wanna see some things here. Let's make you climb too, just, just cuz. Okay, all right, so if he digs. So I have to get this in exactly the right spot for it to work. Once they start going up there, I have to do this. Okay, but it's going to take some finicky timing because if they get in there, they just get lost. And then I build. Okay, so that's release rate too soon, but they all do get up over the thing. And I have to make sure they all get up over it by the time he finishes bashing through here. Well, some of them got in. But we have this little kerfuffle right here. Okay, okay, I can work this out now. 
I think. Okay, we're gonna keep this low for now. How many climbers do I need? Nobody can turn around, so... Yeah, so like if they hit a wall... Okay, I can assign as many climbers as I need until I get this done. How many is that? Okay, there's a very narrow window of time here that's predicated on this. I have to get up and I have to make, okay, so, mm. so we can play slow down game. Let's do three climbers for now. Okay. So because anyone that goes and leaves the bridge. So like if, if he's, if so say he gets up, this is the digger basher. Well, mate, well, I can have him go ahead actually and be the, okay. So, I should probably get my release rate to 99 up soon. Okay. So, he... How many digger bashers does it take to finish this up? Okay, he should probably be a climber too then. Alright, let's back it up. So, he should climb as well. I need exactly enough space, again, for this to work. Okay. Okay. So I just need to make sure everybody gets... Well, there aren't that many lemmings. They should be able to walk through his... Okay. So if every walker... Hold... Ah, da, da, da. I don't feel safe about it. Let's make him a climber too. Just in case. So, this, so they should all get up that stair gap there. Well, maybe I need to make it happen sooner. Because a few are going to get lost now. Okay, yeah, I didn't make my release rate soon enough, actually. Yippee. Wait, hold on. How many how many climbers got how many climbers got loose there? Okay, so four is too many. Five is too many. Four seems like the right number because he doesn't have to climb up the wall to save himself now. So let's get this down to perfection. Okay, one, two, three, and then four, and then probably release rate of ninety nine. The release rate 99 is necessary. Okay, so he goes up. Let's have him do this as soon as possible to give them just that much more of a window. Okay. And I think this is the height that I want. Yeah, this should come together now. I could still, even so, just make one more just in case. But I think I only need four. I think those two guys... I'm still going to make him a climber, just in case. But I think I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, you just get him running forward. Okay, yeah, he still made it. I just wasn't confident in it. But that's that looks like how it's done. Okay, okay. Yeah, these silver ones... These silver ones are weird. I... Sometimes the silver ones seem harder than the gold ones. Because I'm always like, there's some trick. I can still turn them around, right? And it's like, no. You just kind of have to trust yourself on these. And I have a hard time trusting myself sometimes. So get in there, you last climber. Get in there. We're never going to Lemming Land again if I can help it. All right, hopping over now to Oh No More Lemmings. Onward and upward. Uh, the radio edit has you save 35 Lemmings. But the album version makes us save 37. And it's another silver talisman. So let's see, uh, <laughs> my brain automatically is thinking, uh, funky turnaround shenanigans involved? Mayhaps, we'll see. I kind of feel like playing this one out to see where I can refine. So let's just do this as it would normally be done. Um, so there's not going to be much in the way of turning around, I don't think. So, okay. I've only got one miner, and that's got to be to save everybody right here. Let's try to narrow this down. Whoa, well, how am I going to kill 37 lemmings? Is it possible? Are we going to go pop, pop? So we don't have very many digging tools. We're going to mine probably to save everybody right here. I think maybe. 
So, if I have to save 37, and at least two bombers are involved. So, bash, bash, pop, pop. So, how many am I going to end up pop? So, okay, I can bash through here, but... But really, it's easier to just go... Huh. And I only have two climbers, so... Let's see. Okay, let's let's go ahead and do this anyway. Let's go ahead and do this as is for now. There's no floaters, so... So I can't make a blocker at the bottom to just go... So if I kill... This is going to be really hard because I think I need to go pop pop over here. Bomb, bomb somebody here, bomb somebody here. And I can't let anybody get out as like a leeway type of thing. That also. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and still. Okay. Blocker right here. And then, yeah, somebody's got to mine down and save them all. That's got to be this guy, right? Well, well, if he mines down and saves everybody, then everybody starts coming. And then I have to make a blocker up here anyway. This is splat high. Oh, gosh. This is much uglier. See, man, it's these dang silver ones. I don't... Ah, uh, the silver ones are much harder. They're always more insidious for some reason. The gold ones, I can handle just fine. It's usually some nutty, only one way to do it type of thing. And I always end up being able to just do it anyway. Let's go ahead and put you right here. That's probably too far up, right? You're just going to end up turning around. Yeah, that is absolutely what we don't want. I made that too soon. How about... Closer to right here works. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so go out. Have yourself a good time. You absolutely need your two builders right here. I can't see any way around that. So, let's go ahead and build that way. Boom. So, I've got two bashers, though. Um. Okay. So that's down to 38. Is there some clever way to... No, this would just lead to death if I went down here. Okay, now I can't really see any way to get over the... Over the rainbow here. Because you gotta bash right here. Unless you could somehow make it... No, you can't do a tent. So you can't do some kind of funky climber timing. So that one climber... No, yeah. There's absolutely no turning around. Unless... Hmm. I may have to think this one out a little harder because I'm starting to get real quiet on camera and that's never good. So I may have had an idea, but it's the kind of thing I need to work out. Can I bash through the trap trigger? I said, can I bash through the trap trigger? I want to see if that's possible to do. I don't probably not. Uh, so no, that's not possible. Ooh, man. Always one of the gorier traps, that wheel. Let's make sure we never have to see that again. And let's do this right, shall we? Yeah, 37 lemmings, 35... Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, hey, how about, how about not? How about not? Okay, there we go. Very good. I don't know what I did. Th wow, I ended up replaying from the beginning on accident. Just to not see a little bit of gore. What a big baby I am. Okay, I don't think I'm close to the right solution yet, but I think I have the start of something going. So I think the way you have to do it, you can only use your miner right here 
to get everybody up. That's the only way to do that. Because you have to use your two builders right here. Which means you have to pop, pop through here. That's two of your casualties. And then you can only have one more casualty. Uh... And that casualty is going to be... Let's see. And that casualty, I think, well, as far as I've worked out. This is obviously wrong. But I just need to get it out there to to uh, get my head jogging a little. So I'm going to bash right here. I'm going to use my two builders. You're going to see the problem with this in a second, if you don't already. Oops. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and let him finish. So you get to the very edge here. Build again. Let's go ahead and have our other guy start coming. So. Well, maybe we can work this out, actually. Well, no, I don't think so, because here's the deal. So you have to turn this around. So you can make him a blocker right here. And it allows you enough space to turn around and mine your guy down. And he also blows up. When you blow him up, it gives him enough space to still get down to here. Which is what I need. So we're going to let him turn around. Okay, so now he's going to do his little mining thing. So he's going to save his friends from about... You know, roughly right here, where you do in the original. Yeah, there we go. Let's get it going. So now, hopefully I can make enough space here. Okay. I'm trying to make enough space so that only one guy goes up the way here. Okay. There we go. I'm going to make him a blocker now. See, that's a problem, though. Because he'll get up here... Mm, can I bash through that blocker at all? No, because I only have the one basher left right here. Yeah, so there's no way to free him except by bombing him. Which is a problem because I need two bombers for the... Well, that also became problematic. Maybe I should have raised the release racer. I didn't realize I had two walkers going there. Uh, so yeah, now you see... Besides that, besides the guy falling in the quicksand, you see the problem. You gotta kill this guy, and you gotta kill this guy. And they can still get up that, and that's fine. But, aside from him, that would be 37, and we still need to pop through here. So yeah, there are problems, but I need to either think of a different way to turn them around... Or refine this method that I've got going. And I'm not seeing that at the moment. Alright, I'm a big old baby. I did it. I went ahead and I looked at the replay. And you want refinement? Here's refinement. I can't believe this actually works. We're going to make these front two guys climbers. I'm mad at myself for not figuring this out. Like, I'm legit. I'm kind of angry that it works a little bit, but I'm way more mad at myself that I didn't get this. This is way... I should have figured this out before. So these guys are smashed really close together, right? See them? Buddy, buddy. Going buddy system over here. All you gotta do is this. Just get them a little bit far away from the wall here. Just enough so that it takes him a bit of a long time to do it. Have him bash. And that's just enough time for the other one to hit a dent. And start turning around. I kind of figured that uh, this miner had to be the one who died. But I, I just wasn't putting two and two together. And I wasn't figuring it out. And that that really rustles my jimmies that I couldn't that I couldn't put I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk it up to me being tired and staying up probably way later than I should have trying to solve this. But mm, I'm just I'm just irked. And it's totally at me. It's also the fact that, uh, I have such trouble finding turnarounds, but yeah, there you have it. There's your silver talisman, AKA your secretly harder than gold talisman. Both of the ones I've looked up so far have been silvers. Gold, just fine. I can handle gold like a champ, but when it comes to silver talismans, if you want to really stump me, rate something silver. Here we go. So yeah, 
I was right about pop pop right here. Uh, there we go. One right there, and then they're coming along the way here. Yeah, that's an unfortunate casualty, but... Also, another unfortunate casualty is my brain. I think... Okay, so now they're coming down the way here. Uh, that's way too close to the wall. Um, wait, will they... Will, will someone go on beyond that? Okay, so... Oh, yeah, someone turns around, so I gotta wait. Okay, there we go. So, let's just... No! No, not the whole train. Back, 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 back. We have to do it Chicken Express style. Where the last guy does it, so that everybody is safe. There we go. I didn't watch all of the replay. I just watched enough to learn that... Uh, bashing and making a dent and turning around mining was enough to do it. And then I just kind of put the rest together from there except this part but that's easy enough to figure out on the fly but oh <laughs> there it is oh boy good old disappointing jess maroon that's a what a sucker can't believe i can't believe cannot believe it i'm just gonna spend the rest of this episode hemming and hawing and complaining about lemmings this is totally lemmings fault this isn't mine i'm the big brain genius here it's Lemming's fault for being so stupid. Meh. What a stupid game. I regret everything. This game is stupid. I can't believe I ever called this my favorite game. This game is trash. This game is trash. It's me who's trash. I'm, I'm the trash guy here. Let no one ever doubt that I am the trash guy here.